everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a massive, massive, massive makeup haul. Like, I have so much makeup to talk to you guys about, so I'm not even gonna blabber on. To Ulta and I spent quite a good amount of money, and then I went on Namie's and I spent some money, and then I went on ColourPop, and it's so on and so forth. You guys know how that ends up. So I'll just arrived at my house little by little while I was working this week until today to just kind of piece it all together. And I did use a lot of these items to create this look right here. So I did a first impressions video with all of these. Um, well, not all of them, but a good amount of them. Link the video of this makeup tutorial down below using those items. So if you guys are interested, you can go watch that. Without further ado, I would absolutely love if you guys hit that subscribe button down below and join that YouTube family. And also hit that notification bell so you guys are always aware of when I'm posting new videos and now let's just go ahead and jump into talking about these makeup products because there's a lot girl get some popcorn because this might be a long one i'm just gonna be grabbing things from this big old bag and the first product that i got was the kat von d shade and light cream contouring palette and i was super excited to get this because i am trying to get more into doing cream contouring so i thought this was perfect to start off with considering it's new and i wanted to see if there was any hype about it and i did use it in my first impressions so if you guys want to see what i thought you know to go watch that the next product that I got is from ColourPop, and it's this Yes Please palette. This thing has been sold out time and time again, so I was so excited that I got it. This is what the Yes Please palette looks like. It is so gorgeous and so pretty. Just putting this right here so you guys can see what these shades exactly look like. They're just super, super warm, bronzy, perfect shades for me, so I was really excited to get that. And from ColourPop, I also ordered a bunch of Super Shock shadows. This one is in the color um a maze and i'm not going to swatch these or anything because i really just don't have the time and it's going to take forever but it just looks like this it's so pretty so i'm so excited to use these this was my first color pop order that i've ever placed in my entire life i literally don't own a single color pop item until now so that's a little crazy this one is called cheeky oh let me open it up so you guys can see um and it just looks like that so it's like the perfect peach shade i love peach shades and eyeshadows they're just gorgeous um and then this one i think is called bubbly um yep this one is bubbly so it's just a really pretty pink shade right here i actually used this one the other day that's why it looks like it's been used ColourPop shadow this is another ColourPop shadow it's in the color girly and this is another ColourPop shadow that i got <laughs> And this one is in the color sequin. And as you guys can tell, I'm very much into neutrals. I don't really go out of my comfort zone that much, but this one is so pretty. I'm so excited to try all of these and do some new makeup looks for you guys. Um, so that's exciting. And then another product that I got was this ultra satin lip color. And this one's in the color chandelier and it's so pretty it's not even focusing but it's beautiful and then i just got the i love sarah lip liner and this one's in the color 951 it's just like a really nice nudie lip liner and i'm going to swatch it so you guys can see it just looks like that and then i also got last product from ColourPop is curvy and it's just a gloss and it's just a nude gloss like that it's from the i love sarah collection as well and it just looks like this it's so pretty you guys know i love my nudes so i was so excited about this and the lip liner be using those nude lipsticks a ton from ulta i picked up these ardell wispies which are like my favorite lashes and then i also picked up these double up lashes as well they just look like that and then i picked up this cover effects custom enhancer drops i've never used these highlighting drops but i'm sure you guys have seen them like everywhere um the color that i got is called celestial so i'm so excited about these i actually want to swatch them on the back of my hand so you guys can see what it looks like i'm sure you guys already know though i'm just gonna put a little bit and oh my god Y'all, I'm so excited to try that. Holy shit, I just wanna put that on my face right now. I'm so excited to try that with like my foundation or with a highlighter. And this is actually my first liquid highlighter. I've never tried one in my entire life. Something that I got from Dose of Colors is this mint collection and it's called Excitement. It's a liquid lipstick and it's just like a pinky shade. Um, and that's what the color looks like. Oh! Oh, that's so pretty. I'm just showing you guys once more because that's beautiful. And also from Dose of Colors, I ordered the Desi X Katie collection. I'm so upset though because I didn't order like the whole collection. I just ordered it piece by piece and I forgot 
the eyeshadow palette, y'all. I went on the website on the exact time that it launched and like it didn't sell out for like 45 minutes so I could have so gotten it and I don't know why on earth I forgot. I was so upset when I opened my box and I didn't have my eyeshadow palette. Oh my god, okay, I want to cry. Anyways, I got the highlighter in color Mirame, which is just so, so freaking pretty. The packaging is so beautiful too. It looks like that, like... Oh my god, like dream packaging right here. And I actually used this already today. That's why it kind of looks like like I kind of dug into it. Because I did use it for a highlighter and an eyeshadow. So this is what Mirame looks like. And then there's another one called Fuego. And the packaging is so pretty. And this one I think is like the lighter one of the two. So I probably should have tried this one on today. But oh. And then the next thing that I got is the No Shade Lipstick. And it just looks like this. And it's the nude color. You guys know I love my nudes. I didn't like the other one. I think it's called More Creamer Please because darker nudes look like shit on me. Like they look so terrible. So I didn't pick that one up, but I did pick up Hot Fire, which is their matte red lipstick. Girlfriend, that's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Whew, I'm obsessed. I'm so freaking. Why am I like trying to pick my booger on camera? <laughs> Oh my god, but anyways, I'm so obsessed with that color. It's so beautiful and it's just a perfect like red orangey lip Pretty sure that's all that I got from dose of color. Actually, I got one more thing um, and it's over the top lip gloss And it just looks like that. Oh Can we take a moment of silence for how beautiful that is? Uh, Desi and Katie just like killed it on this collection like killed it Moving on to Ulta products that I got. I picked up this Lorac Unzipped Ocean Sunset Palette. I already uploaded a tutorial with this. I already tried it out, but I did get it within this last week. So that's why I wanted to tell you guys about it in this haul. And it just looks like that. It's so pretty. If you guys want to see the look that I created, it was a halo eye. And I was so proud because I've never done a halo eye in my life. And that was just like... It just meant a lot to me. And another palette that I picked up from Lock is their Malibu Free Spirit Palette. It may look a little pointless to you guys, but the reason I picked it up was just because it's a perfect everyday palette. Like something that I can take traveling with me and I know I don't need to take a huge palette. Um, and it just has like all these neutral nice shades. Like it has those like two nudes and then this really pretty highlight in this dark color and pinky color. And I actually wanted to swatch this highlight for you guys because it's so pretty. Like okay Lorac. okay like i don't need to say anything else i'm just jumping all over the place but i ordered this from namie's and it's their beauty blender summer fling collection because i don't have beauty blenders right now because brutus eats all of them so i'm going to be very very careful to keep these like locked inside my drawer somewhere because ugh, i really already eaten six of my beauty blenders that's like 120 dollars so the next product that I picked up was the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, which is like a primer and a moisturizer all in one. And I have some dry skin, girl. Let me tell you, it is dry as hell. So I picked this up and I used it today. If you want to know my thoughts, you know to click on that other video. Okay. All right. That was weird. Anyways, I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the color Dolce. And everyone and their mother has this lipstick. I swear they do. But it's so pretty and i'm gonna swatch it for you guys that actually kind of looks exactly like the dose of colors one that i just got but a little less pink a little more neutral i just really like my pinks and my nudes okay okay Ooh, another product from anastasia that i'm super excited that i got because of nicole cutler is their anastasia beverly hills <laughs> their blush trio and this is in the color peachy love and it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful to me. All right, and it just looks like this. I picked up another Anastasia Beverly Hills um, product, and it's their lip gloss in the color Undressed. Again, nude. What's new? I have like five nude colors here. Like, that's a little pathetic. Something else that I picked up was this Japanesque Luminous Foundation, and it just looks like this. A lot of people talk about this, but unfortunately, it did not work out for me. I tried it a couple days ago. It's probably good for like a two-hour wear or a three-hour wear, but man, anything after that, I was looking like a grease ball. And that's hard because I'm dry. I'm like so dry on my face. It just did not work out for me. It was so oily. Like, so, so oily. So I also picked up my favorite mascara because I was running out, but it's the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I love it. I love it. Love it. 
Also picked up the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick because like I said, I'm trying to get into cream contouring and I love the Hula Bronzer so I wanted to try out the Hula Stick Bronzer. And then the last thing is like the most boring and this is a green tea face mask. It's for mattifying and anti-blemish and actually does a really, really good job at clearing any breakouts that I have. So if I have any like major, major breakouts, I just put that on my face and it, it like clears them up the next day. So I love that mask and I just decided to get it because if I spent one more dollar, I could get free shipping rather than paying for shipping. So I just got like a $5 face mask. Why not? You know? You know? That was all my new makeup. I hope you guys enjoy this little haul that I got. Spent a little too much money, but it's okay because I can now do more videos and new looks. And I'm so, so excited to try all of these out. So like I said, if you guys want to see how I got this look using some of those products, you can click that video in the bio section down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think I already said that. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and end this video. Bye.